Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, blood. It's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention to the job, but last he's Robert Clayton. No, I mean I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out as as they come. Having to sedate him and lay his drooling body into isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Then Petrugre 
himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he, he just went. And we couldn't stop him. When he came back, he had changed. He sounded, looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And then, living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. Systems activated. Teleportation is commenced in T-minus three, two, one.